All right, I have a test fixture uh, set up here. So we got our heat bar. It's got an E-type thermal couple hooked up, as well as a fire. This is my firing switch here, and uh, you can set up four different programs. A and you can adjust your idle, preheat, ramp, reflow, and cool per program. So A is set up that way. B just arbitrarily pick these programs. Here's C, and here's D. So what I'll do is I'll hit my uh, fire switch down here and keep it pressed down, and it'll begin to program. And you can see by the arrow here, we did a two-second preheat. Now it's in a five-second ramp up. And it's going to ramp to 425. And then cool down to 170. And that beep indicates that it's complete. And I release the fire switch. We can try another program here. A, uh, A here we have it set at 100 uh, as an idle temperature. So you'll see that the temperature gauge will adjust down 100 and, and ma maintain 100 degrees when not in use. All right, so we're pretty close here now. What I'll do is I'll hit the fire switch again. You see by the arrow here, it's indicating it's going 150 for two second preheat. Now it's ramping up in six seconds to 325. And now it's cooling down. I'm just going to switch back to D, and I'm going to set the solder on the heat bar here so we can see that it is actually melting, that the heat bar is getting hot. The TC is placed within that T bar, a heat bar. Now if you watch the solder down there closely, you'll see that it will melt on running uh, the 425C program now. It's ramping up, and there it goes. All right, here's the second unit. I got it set up the same way to the uh, heat bar through the test fixture here. Uh, I got my TC fire. My TC is a uh, E type in the fixture. Again, I got program A here, programmed the same way as the last one, where you have a uh, idle of 100, preheat of 150 for two seconds, ramp uh, at six seconds, to 325 reflow temperature, and it'll maintain that for two seconds and 170 degree cool time uh, temperature. So here we are, we're sitting around 100 at idle. I'll press the fire switch go to preheat it's ramping at 325 and now it's cooling down Okay, that process is complete. What I'll do is I'll put a little solder on the uh, tip to show that it is actually getting hot. And run the same program again. So I'll just touch the solder to the tip. 
I'm going to hit the fire switch. And there you go. It melts it. <coughs> All right, here's your third. Uh, that on. Let's put our heating rate to three here. Here's our third uh, unit. Again, hooked up to our test fixture. Same program. I'm idling at 100 C. See that on your analog gauge and as well as your digital readout. Uh, we get a preheat of 150 for two seconds. We're going to ramp for six seconds up to 325. Maintain that temperature for two seconds, and then here I change the uh, cool temperature. Uh, Brought it up a little bit so we don't have to wait as long for it to uh, hit the cool time or cool temp. So, from uh, it, it, you see it ramping down here to your uh, cool temperature. Again, I got my test uh, fixture here set up. I'll hit the fire switch. You see, we're at 100 now at the idle temperature. Okay, two seconds to the preheat. Six second ramp to 325. We're at 325 for two seconds. And now we're cooling down to 250. Again, you can store four different programs in here with different parameters and now your idle preheat ramp, reflow, and cool. That's program uh, C, program D. Here's your heating rate, it can be changed between one through four. This is all explained in the manual. So what I'll do is I'll set the solder up again on the heat bar. We'll do one run through and uh, we'll see that the solder does melt. Just gonna curl it around on here. Okay, hit the switch. That melted pretty quick on us there. Mm -hmm. there you go. All right, right, I'm going to explain this. All right, I changed program D. I'm going to uh, do a uh, preheat 152 seconds, six second ramp up to 600 degrees, and hold that for five seconds. And we'll actually see our bar like glow orange. Okay, here's the ramp to 600. If you watch the bar, you can see how hot it gets. Yeah, that's 600 degrees. See the globe. 